DeKalb County, Alabama was one of the hardest hit counties in northern Alabama on the historic tornado outbreak of April 27, 2011, with one of the three EF5 tornadoes of the day moving through Rainsville. Among all the tornadoes that touched down, a total of seven moved through DeKalb County in three separate waves causing widespread damage. Daryl Lester, an emergency manager for DeKalb, on this day gives us insight into what the county was like that day, especially for the emergency workers who were working the recovery of the first wave when the EF5 struck. There was quite a bit of, of activity, response activity going on up there because it, it did, there was lives lost up there in the, on that F4 track and uh, pretty much they got wherever they could get when the when the F5 came through. It, it didn't, it really didn't even get close to that same area. Uh, which, when you're talking about an F5 tornado, what is close? Uh, between here and DeKalb County is close enough for me. Responders then moved quickly. Four deaths out on County Road 27. Uh, and pretty much helped secure those, those people. Uh, helped clear roads. Fish and Rescue Squad was out there in that area also helping clear roads. And uh, we just started the cleanup process pretty much right there, uh, gaining access through the highways, through the county roads, to where that we could travel. And that went well into the night. Dealing with the loss of power was difficult for people to handle in one of the greatest challenges of the day. And during the, the power outage, uh, you know, people's got pretty pretty reliant on power. You take power away, no, they wouldn't impacted by the tornado directly, but they were impacted by the power outage. And for a lot of folks, that was tough. You know, they canned and put up stuff in their freezers and refrigerators all year, and suddenly they're losing a lot of that stuff. So there was a lot of impact just from the power outage. The devastating tornadoes left people with very little food, water, and supplies. This is where the community came in to help. It, it was impressive, uh, the community response to things. Uh, we set up, well, uh, just speaking on the fire departments, uh, we set up three command posts throughout the Cab County to distribute commodities and stuff. Uh, we had it coming into Rainsville, and then they were distributed to, to Sylvania and Eider, and then on to Henniger and Cartersville from there. And and it worked really well. There was so much stuff that was distributed out and, and that came into the Cab County. It, it it was kind of amazing to me the amount of commodities in, in general that came from other states. With multiple rounds of tornadoes that day, dealing with the long-term recovery effort was the job of volunteers as well as the exceptional work of law enforcement. Just to get people back into a house, back into a functional home setting. Uh, they do an outstanding job for absolutely nothing. Uh, they don't get compensated in any way. Uh, they work off strictly off of donations. And... Uh, I, I, there ain't enough words to say for for our long-term recovery committee and the others across the state. They're, they are truly the unsung heroes. The, the fire departments and the rescue squads and the police officers, law enforcement that distributed this stuff out was a, a virtually a 24-hour around-the-clock service. Uh, especially for the first few days. Uh, it, it had to scale back at that point because you just can't work 24 hours that many days in a row, but uh, they did a, an outstanding job. The events of April 27, 2011 have left a lasting impact on DeKalb County, but the lessons learned of the response and recovery efforts will be utilized in events to come.